This is a video covering one of the aspects of getting an excellence answer in your time series internal. If you look in your pink workbook, you'll find a table like this. Okay, so basically when I first saw this table, I did not know what it was for. So I went on my quest to figure it out, and I have. Um, so just in case you don't know what it is, it's just a table showing the figure of the percentage change in the peak value and the trough value. So basically what they did was they take the starting point, the, the first peak, and then they take the last peak of the time series, and then they just find the percentage change in the peak value. So how to calculate it? Okay, so first you go into in Insight. I already have all the data. So you find the first peak value for it. And in this case, it will be 13.44 because that's the first peak. Everything else is lower than that. This is the highest, the first one. And you take the last peak. Last peak. This would not be the last peak because there is one higher than that. So this would be the last peak because this is higher. So we take the last peak. So that's 13.11. So we take the final, take the final, and we minus the initial divided by the initial. So calculator. We take. What we do is we take. 13.11 minus 13.44 then we get that we divide it by the initial which is 13.44 times it by 100 and we get negative 2.5455% which in the book says it is 2 point negative 2.5% so that is basically how you calculate this um, percentage change and then you just do the same for the troughs as well so that is all today and I'll leave the rest of the video making to Ms. Allen